Magnitude 6.5 earthquake strikes Mexico, USGS, downgraded it to 5.8. Mexico has just had a 6.5 earthquake. USGS has downgraded it to a 5.8. This is uh, in the state of Oaxaca, Mexico. And it's felt, already felt by 117 people. I don't know how many people know that they can go and report it to USGS. But this is an area, it's very close to Guatemala as we see. It's on the ring of fire, as we can see, and does not seem to have had any um, foreshocks and uh, no aftershocks. This is today's quakes, are the blue, the red are the uh, last hour, and as you can see, it's quite big. And let's take a look at the ring of fire today. Uh, we have five, five plus earthquakes. We've had them for the past few days. And we also have Cascadia earthquakes as well today, right here off the coast of Oregon. And the uh, Ridgecrest and uh, West Coast, San Andreas and Walker Lane fault system are still going on. And Iceland has also had a 5 magnitude today as well. But this one here, we have to take a look at this. This is, has been felt as we said. And let's go to the aerial map so we can take a better look at this. Okay, it's right there on the coast, as we can see. Back off a little bit. And the shake map, that's it right there. A little bit more. Shake map. Okay, usually they don't go above the squares, but it doesn't mean that they have not felt it. As you can see, it's a pretty big earthquake. And uh, if we can put on some tectonics to see, there you can see the line right there. Okay, that's a tectonic fault right there. So basically, that's a subduction zone, as we can see. And it's a very seismically active area. Extensive diversity and complexity of tectonic regimes characterizes the perimeter of the Caribbean plate. Uh, as we know from the Caribbean here, we also have volcanoes. This one here, what's this? 4.4, Dominican Republic, UTC time 8.29. 8.29, and this was at 4.40 a.m. So this was about uh, four hours later. And this area here, of course, has the uh, volcanic uh, islands. And um, even an undersea volcano, the Kikim Jenny, is supposed to be very... Uh, okay, these here. As you can see, these are all volcanic islands. And Kikim Jenny is right somewhere under here. Okay, all these are volcanic islands. And we have a tremendous amount of um, earthquake activity in the Dominican Republic in Haiti, Puerto Rico, Haiti. And going back to the earthquake that we had, the 5.8, downgraded to 5.8. The uh, earthquake vicinity of the Caribbean plate involving no fewer than four major plates, the North American, South American, the Nazca, and the Cocos plate. Inclined zones of deep earthquakes, ocean trenches and arcs of volcanoes clearly indicates subduction of oceanic lithosphere along the Central American and Atlantic Ocean margins of the Caribbean plate, while crustal seismicity of Guatemala, northern Venezuela, and Cayman Ridge and Cayman Trench indicate transform fault and pull apart um, basin tectonics. And remember here, in this area here, we have asphalt volcanoes. It's not just here that we have volcanoes. We have volcanoes here. We also have volcanoes in Mexico and Guatemala as well. Okay, all these areas full of volcanoes as well. Okay, so along the northern margin of the Caribbean plate, the North American plate moves westward with respect to the Caribbean at a velocity of 20 millimeters per year. Motion is accommodated along several major transfer faults 
extending eastward from Isla de Ratan to Haiti, including the Swan Island Fault and the Orient Fault. These faults represent the southern and northern boundaries of the Cayman Trench and further east from the Dominican Republic to the islands of Barbuda. Relative motion between the North American plate and the Caribbean plate becomes increasingly complex and is partially accommodated by nearly arc parallel subduction of the North American plate beneath the Caribbean plate. This results in the formation of the deep Puerto Rico trench and a zone of intermediate focus earthquakes from 70 to 300 kilometers. Well, our earthquake was 92.7 kilometer depth, so that's pretty deep as you can see. Um, along the Puerto Rican subduction zone is thought to be, although it's thought to be capable of generating a mega thrust earthquake, there have been no such events in the past century. The last probable interplate thrust fault event occurred May 2nd, 1787 and was widely felt throughout the island with documented destruction across the entire northern coast, including Arecibo and San Juan. Puerto Rico we're talking about. Since 1900, the two largest quakes to occur in this region were August 4th, 1948 of 8 magnitude, Samana earthquake in northeastern Hispaniola, and July 29, 1943 at 7.6. So you can see they're quite big. A significant portion of the motion between the North American plate and the Caribbean plate in this region is accompanied by a series of left lateral strikes at faults that bisect the island of Hispaniola, notably the, Sep the Septetronial Fault in the north and the Ariquilo Platian Garden Fault in the south, activity adjacent to the Ariquilo Platian Plantain Garden Fault system is best documented by the January 12, 2010 magnitude 7 Haiti strike slave earthquake associated aftershocks and comparable earthquake in 1770. So the South Caribbean plate boundary with the South American plate strikes east-west across Trinidad and western Venezuela. So the boundary between Cocos and Nazca plates characterized by a series of north-south trending transfer faults and east-west trending spreading centers. The largest and most seismically active of these transfer boundaries is the Panama fracture zone Panama Fracture Zone terminates in the south at the Galapagos Rift Zone and in the north the Middle American Trench where it forms part of the Cocos Nazca Caribbean Triple Junction. Earthquakes along the Panama Fracture Zone are generally shallow, low to intermediate in magnitude, characteristically right lateral strikes at faulting earthquakes. Since 1900, the largest earthquake to occur along the Panama Fracture Zone was 7.2 earthquake in 1962. And so we have to keep an eye out on this because obviously we could have aftershocks related to this which is quite a big earthquake. I'll leave links below for you for this. This is on uh, Sizewell Berkeley and of course the details we've read from USGS having to do with this earthquake. Okay just a few, a few kilometers south of Santo Domingo in Mexico. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Capota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. 
Thank you.